Hello, my name is Ankur Agarwal. I'm head of product management here at Venture Labs. I'm here today to talk to you about multi-cluster applications. It's a new capability that we are adding to Rancher 2.2, uh, which is in preview mode right now. So before we get into how the feature works, let's look at why you would need something like multi-cluster applications. The first use case I'm, I'm going to talk about is for highly reliable applications. Typically, to make apps highly reliable, they are deployed on different availability zones. This can be done in one of two ways. First, you can actually just create one cluster and pull nodes from various availability zones into this cluster. However, the problem is that if you do that and the cluster fails, your application still becomes unavailable. The other way could be to create a cluster per availability zone and then to push out the same application on each of these clusters. As you can imagine, the problem is that these, these processes are highly manual, error prone, and definitely high risk. The second use case is applicable to edge computing scenarios where you can have hundreds of clusters. Copies of the same application may be deployed on several of these clusters. And then keeping these clusters and applications up to date is both time consuming and error prone. Multi-cluster applications applies to both these use cases. In a nutshell, it provides a way for Rancher Global Admins to select the applications, point them at specific clusters, one or more of them, provide cluster-specific data for each cluster, and then deploy the applications by pushing just one button. It also supports rolling updates. Okay, at this time, I will try to log into my Rancher UI. I come in, I see my clusters, and I see a new menu entry called multi-cluster apps. Now I'll caution you that this may change. We may move things around, the menu entry may change its location, but one way or the other, there will be a way for you to go in and access the multi-cluster applications UI. I'm going to click on multi-cluster apps. I see two buttons, manage catalogs, launch, and then again, this is the same button, the launch button. If I click on the manage catalogs, I go into the catalogs menu and I see the page where I can go and build either new Helm charts or create new catalog items. However, I'm gonna navigate back to my multi-cluster applications and this time I will click on launch. Now when I click on launch, what I'm doing is I'm trying to find applications that I can deploy on the target clusters that I will choose later. At this time, let me search for the app that I want to deploy and I'm gonna keep it simple, so I will just use Grafana. I find these three options. I'm gonna use one from my library. I've tried it before. And then I come to this page. Now this is the configuration page. This is where I'm going to enter all the values that I need to provide when you do a Grafana uh, deployment on your cluster. Let's look at everything that is available to me on this page. Detailed description. So this is where I get description of this app little bit about configuration settings, like what all uh, values are available to me that I can set. Configuration options, like the name that I want to give this app and the clusters on which I want to deploy them. Members, these are the users. This is our, our back capabilities and these are the users who can view this application. And finally, answer overrides. As I mentioned earlier, some of the attributes apply to all the clusters and some don't. So in this case, we are gonna use one probably the password and make it different for every single cluster that we deploy the same app on. Okay, with that, let's get into details. Let me open up detailed description. I see all the attributes that are available to me that I can set. In detailed description, all you have is the description. There's nothing you can do over here. You just get to learn what you can do, what settings you can make for this Grafana implementation. I'm going to click on configuration options, choose a name, and I'm going to add target projects. Project in Rancher is a collection of namespace. So one or more namespaces, they can be pulled together to form a project. I am going to choose two different clusters and hence two different projects. So for one, I'm choosing my cluster called cluster one, and then the project name default. UI shows you just the default, just the project name. I'm going to add another target because I want to deploy this app 
on two different clusters. And this time I'm going to choose cluster two and I'm going to choose another project called test two within, within this cluster. So cluster one default project, cluster two test two project. I'm going to choose an upgrade strategy, which is my rolling update. I will leave the default values of the batch size and the interval. And then for rest of the settings, I'm going to leave more or less default. Now what we notice here is there is nothing for admin password. So I'm gonna leave it because I want to override it uh, per cluster. There is a username though called admin, which I'm okay with. All right, so with that, I am getting into answer overrides. I click on that. I, I haven't chosen any members. I just wanna keep it open for now. I will choose an answer override. I'll set the scope, which basically means for which cluster or which project rather am I going to do this. So for my cluster one default project, I am going to choose admin password and let me just generate a system level password over here. Let system generate a password. I will do another override because I have two different clusters. So if I'm changing for cluster one, it's uh, I don't have to do it, but I would like to do it for both clusters. So for cluster two, test project two or test two, again, I'm choosing a different password and I will let system generate me another password. At this time, I am ready to go and create this application in all my target clusters. But before I do that, let me go back up and show one more thing. This is about YAML. All the configuration settings that we were trying to do for Grafana using the UI, I can actually do it more easily as a YAML if I feel comfortable with that. So in this case, I'm going to try to click it. All the settings that I can change will show up as these YAML settings. And for example, for one of them, let's say auth anonymous enabled, if it is true, I will set it to false, which probably I should anyway. If I have a file and I've already created that and I've distributed that, then I can read all of these configuration settings from that file as well. So it looks for a file in my local setting, in my local uh, computer. We're not changing anything over there. We already added our target clusters. And now the only thing we have to do is to go and click on launch. And that's it. It's showing me that I'm trying to install, deploy, and now it is active Grafana for cluster one and cluster two. Project name in cluster one is default. Project name is in cluster two is test two. I can jump directly to where this app is by clicking on these links. So for cluster one, I click, I go straight away to that, to that project, and I go to that workload, and I see the Grafana app that I just deployed. And it is there and it is running. I can go back. I have to actually go either, I can navigate back to the global admin, back to multi-cluster, and, and then click on the second link for the second cluster, or I can just go to my cluster over here, choose the, pro choose the project, so let me just do that again. Choose the project, and here, under workloads again, I have the Grafana project. So with just one action at the global level, I was able to launch multi-cluster app, which was Grafana, for two clusters. I can do it for three, four, five, as many as I would like to. In this video, I showed you how to use Rancher's new multi-cluster apps capability to select an app, point it to multiple clusters, provide configuration details, choose an application upgrade strategy, whether it's going to be rolling, a rolling update or if it's going to be uh, all the updates uh, happen simultaneously. And then finally, just click one button and get that app deployed on multiple clusters.